Hi, so this is a guide on how to avoid and how to remove breathing noise uh, using Audacity and uh, Common Sense. So the first tip with the breathing noise is you should avoid it in the first place so you don't need to deal much with it uh, when you're editing your audio. So um, when you are speaking into the microphone, you shouldn't be speaking directly into it. You should speak past it, to the left, to the right or above it. And the microphone should be facing your mouth, but your mouth shouldn't be facing the microphone, if that makes sense. So that when the words and breaths are coming out of your mouth, they shouldn't be hitting the diaphragm. Also, you can try and be conscious about how loud you breathe. And naturally, uh, the more you read the script into the microphone or read aloud, the better you're gonna get at it. You can also try, you can also try uh, making tongue twisters, and you can just uh, try to repeat the same tongue twist as fast as possible. So naturally, you will get out of breath, and it will help you with controlling your uh, breathing. But uh, if you've done all of that and you still got some breaths in your recording and you probably will have, uh, then let's look at how you can deal with them in Audacity. Now, uh, I believe Audacity recently made an update and now we have a multi-view here. So this is awesome thing because it allows you to see um, uh, the spectrogram and waveform at the same time, which I believe before we didn't have access to this feature. Nevertheless, um, so this recording here I've made previously, it has a lot of breaths right here, uh, here, here, uh, here as well, and probably here and, and here. So the first thing, this is a short recording, as you can see, only 18, 19 seconds. So it's a bit easier, but let's say you have a very long, maybe an hour long recording, um, then this would make much more sense. Uh, and I'm talking about the noise gate here. So Audacity doesn't have built in noise gate. You would have to download the plugin and uh, install it. Uh, you can check in the description. I'll, I'll give a link to that. Uh, but uh, essentially what it will do, it will uh, remove most of the noise that is in between you speaking. So you, you can probably copy the settings, but it will vary on uh, on different recordings. So with the, the, the background noise, if you're breathing really loud, uh, the gate threshold uh, might need to be a bit higher if you're, it's, if the breaths are less uh, noticeable it could be it could be a uh, lower so okay you will want to set the attack and decay to the lowest possible so that's 10 uh, the level of reduction around 20 probably it's gonna be fine because you want to leave some of that noise uh, there so it sounds more natural when there are some breaths because naturally when we speak we make breaths and it's natural to hear them so you don't want to get rid, rid of them fully so let, let's put it at minus 20 and the gate threshold is going to depend on it on 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 your recording so you will want to tweak that uh, according to what you have so let's apply it and as you can see it already removed most of the breaths here and uh, it, it may be even a bit too harsh because you can see that it's very abrupt but let's let's stick with it um, once you've done that you, you still may want to attenuate some of these like here it may sound still slightly harsh so you may want to remove them uh, manually and you can do that by applying the amplify effect so it's right here and you'll find it here for you, it probably won't have this A letter because I've, I've just uh, made a, a keyboard sh a shortcut. So I'll show you how to do that as well. 
but uh, on the amplifier effect you will want to attenuate that breathing noise just a tad bit more and uh, you will do that manually to what you will recording and that should make it so that your breaths are less noticeable and as for that shortcut you would want to go to edit preferences you will go here and you will write amplify you'll find the amplify effect here and you can insert whatever letter you want for me a is fine so i'll stick with a um and then you can just quickly reach the effect by tapping the a letter so yeah that's how you uh, avoid and then remove any breathing noise that you might have using audacity